choices, man. It's like either you like him or you don't like him. I, I it's can't. not that. It's the corn. It's, he's just so corny. He's just, <laughs> oh, man, he just seeps with corn. And he's such an emotional guy. Like, I, I can't take it. You know what I'm saying? It's like he's like that annoying little cousin that, like, nobody really wants to hang around, but he's family. You know uh, what I mean? Like, you're like, yo, this guy, I'm going to punch you in the face. <laughs> Like, Wale is that artist. Like, he just makes you want to punch him in the face. Like, yo, dog, get out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, he could be cool for a couple of minutes, and then after that, he's gone off into the deep end. He, he just does, he gets too far. You know what I'm saying? Gets into his, his own mind too much. And the whole Moons thing, I don't like it. I don't like the Moons thing. It's corny. Uh-huh. Cut it out. Cut <laughs> it out, Willard. All right? We don't want to hear it anymore. Okay, so in true in true Kevin fashion, you gave him that back in the comment. I, a compliment. But the I get it. is not bad from Kevin. No, from Kevin. Not bad. Not good, bad. Man. Yeah. 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 So you know, like I said, I give him credit where credit's due. I mean, he had a lot of corn on here, but those first four tracks, man, I thought I was about to be impressed. I, like I said, I I listened to those four. I was about to be like, yo, man, I'm a Wale fan. I'm I'm ready. Let's let's go. Where's the rest of it, man? I've been sleeping. Uh-huh. Yeah. But nah, he. he <laughs> He went back. He went back to his normal form. He did okay. what I expected him to do. So, yo, that Joe Budden disc, okay. Ooh, Joe on, Booty, uh, <laughs> on uh, Drake and Meek Mills. Yo, yo, can I tell you this before? Because Nadia or Kel, I want you guys to explain the story of how it happened. Okay. But I appreciate somebody because it wasn't an awesome disc like Ether, where it buried Jay Z, but stop it was it. still it. it was still a decent diss track. But just the animosity that Joe Budden had, man, it seems like that's missing from hip hop. I don't think it is like missing that, from hip hop, but it's not really an animosity thing. You it's think- more it's more so he wants him to be like he's like, Yo, I, I'm a better rapper and I wanna rap. So I think that this was a shot at me, even if you're saying it wasn't, so let's rap. You did it against me, so rap against somebody that's a viable foe. And that's what I think and I think that's what puts Drake in a horrible position right now because he did go at Meek. I think he knew Meek couldn't rap better than him, and he made a song about it. And I think that's what's going to put him in kind of a concubine with this one is he's going to have to rap now. And so I what's the story? Um, I mean, basically, him and Drake have history. They, you know, mess around the same chicks. Uh, they, you know, dwell in the same circle, so to speak. And uh, Drake was even in admiration of Joey. Like, Joe Button, you know, he just like, yo, you're a good rapper. I've always liked you. And, I mean, in the, in the beginning of the diss, the uh, the audio was actually a young Drake talking to Joe Budden. Yeah. So, you know, they have mutual respect. And Joey, I listened to his podcast, and, like, you listen to him, and he's a huge Drake fan. But he said that on this album that came out, like, yo, you put out an album thinking that you're nicer than what you are. And it sounds like an uninspired album. As a rapper, it's kind of like a, a, a technology fan being upset at Apple putting out the same phone over and over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's not like we're crapping on the fact that it's a good phone, the iPhone's a good phone. It's like from a technical aspect of it, it's kind of disrespectful that you put this out and expecting us to acknowledge it as being good. So it's not like a real beef. It's just like no, hey, no, I no. expect it better exactly. from you. I, See, I more like competition. It, it, it's competition. And, and uh, uh, not J. Cole. What's my man's name? Um, um, Don't fall asleep on me. No, what's my man's Mill, name? Um, Jay Cold. <laughs> oh, 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 uh, Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick. How he did on the uh, Control beat, or Control song. Yeah. It was just competition, man. That's all it is. It's competition. Like, yo, rap used to be competition. And I think even from our age, we grew up where rap was like, everybody had respect for another. It wasn't disrespectful. It wasn't nothing like Tupac and Biggie, because they just had history they didn't like each other. It was more so like, yo, we can be all in the same thing, but I'm going to be the best. Right. It'd be songs where, where cats would put out songs, and try to body each other on the track. On the record, yeah. You know, and that's been gone. Like, all this buddy-buddy stuff. I don't know if it's a generational thing. Because it's kind of like that in sports right now with LeBron and, and some of the younger cats. And uh, in that age group. But it's like, yo, where's all the competition gone? Where's it gone? And I think that's what Joey was saying. So, it's nothing like, you know, when you see each other, they're going to fight or anything like that. It's more so like, yo, let's rap. You did it against me, so you got to go do it against me. Right. And I don't think Jake, I don't think Drake wants that. I don't think Jake is going to respond. I don't think he's going to respond either. I really just don't think he it'd be in his best interest not to. Yeah. Do you, you think Budden drop another one? He already has yeah. one tucked away. And see, the thing about it is, though, and I hate to be put like a like a adolescent kid, but Drake started this because he had it was a clip with him in, in uh, French Montana, and they were like they said, oh yeah, pump 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 it up, and like everyone knows that that's kind of a dig at Joe Budden because uh-huh. his only commercial song he had was Pump It Up. Right. And I said it in a video we put on our channel. For people out there who don't really know Joe Button, man, go back and listen to the Mood music albums. Don't base your, your thoughts and opinions on him as being the guy you see on Love and Hip Hop, the guy you seen on uh, on that on that Pump It Up song. 
that dude can actually rap very well. Yeah. Now I will okay. throw I will throw a word of caution out there. Don't listen to uh, mood music unless you are ready to go into a deep deep depression. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. All right. You gotta be in a dark spot. You gotta yeah. Be in a no, something dark bad place. has got to no, going on don't. in your life, bro. No, he you don't. Know what the what reason why they call him Regular Joe is because he actually can relate. You can relate to some of the things he goes through. You know, he has a song on there um, called All of Me. It stands out to me because, you know, I'm a big Joe Button fan. But he talks about how he got a call on his voicemail. He never checked his voicemail for weeks. But it was a call on there from a girl that he had known. And she had brain cancer. And she was about to die. She just wanted to call and tell him that she loved him and hope his career took off. And he couldn't even really respond to it. You know, it's like stuff like that people is like regular people actually can, can, can relate to. Yeah. But um, besides all that, the dude can just flat out rap. But that's basically where the beef came from. Whether or not we get a reply from it, I hope we do. Because in the end, as hip hop fans, we're going to win. We, it makes for good music. But it puts Drake in a very, very weird position because, lose. no, not so much even that. It's like he did respond to Meek. So why yeah. don't you respond to Joe? I don't yeah. think Joe's big enough. He he can always spin that. But Joe, but isn't he big in his own sense though? Because he has the podcast going. He's got a he cult following. Show. He's got a cult following. Yes, yeah, the guys who like following. Joe Budden love him. Yeah, but it, the Drake fans who like Joe Budden, they're I mean, who like Drake are like, what is this old guy talking about? Right. You know. And plus, I mean, the bass guy already ended Joe Budden. <laughs> so, <laughs> if the bass guy speaks your name, man, it's a wrap. It, it's bad for you. It's bad for you. And I mean, it's been bad. For, I mean, Joe Joe's career has been on steady decline since T-shirt and buttons. Mm. I forgot all about that song too. I, I would I would try to too if I was a Joe Budden fan. I would want to forget about it as well. You know, <laughs> just put it in the past. Yeah, I don't know. But we'll see if more comes about it. I think Meek Mill was supposed to say something about it. But ultimately... Do and the you thing, really want to hear from Meek? I no. don't. But ultimately, though, the thing that, that was happening, though, to be honest with you, the thoughts that Joey was saying was a lot of things a lot of old heads were saying, which is this guy's not as nice as he thinks he is. And especially anyone from an old who's cut from that cloth of just regular, just, just hip-hop, you have to write your own rhymes. There's no way you can come yeah. with a finished product yeah. from another artist and say, this is my track. And I've said it in the podcast before, Drake's music has been totally different since The Weeknd left. Since him and The Weeknd parted ways, his music has been totally different. I don't think it's been different in a good sense. I think it's been good, I mean, different in a bad sense because it's been, like, Take Care was the last album that came out with The Weeknd on it. And it's known, Weeknd did a lot of the writing on there. And it showed on there. Yeah. The album that came out after that was, which one was that? Nothing Was nothing the Same? Was the same. Yeah. Nothing was, a, was the Same. Yeah, and Nothing Was the Same. It was actually a decent album. It still has some... He had Jay Z. He had some really high. Had some free. Had some uh, features on there that was pretty good. But nonetheless, I don't know. A lot know. of corn on that. A lot album. of corn. A lot of corn on you that. Know, album. You know the crazy thing is, I think Drake thinks he's, for example, like Jay Z's level. Yes. And he's not. He said like, that though. He said I became Jay. Yeah. He yeah, said I, that. I don't see that lyrically. And, and that and that's the part on the disc that we listened to that everyone kind of missed on there was that he felt like Jay Z should have been put Drake in his place. Right. 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 And that's why he said I'm doing my job for you. I'm doing. I'm doing your job for you. You know, doing Jay Z's job for him. So, because I never knows? thought of Drake as like lyrical. Like I don't have to listen to Drake a couple times to understand what he's saying. But that's the thing about it. When Drake was out and he was doing his thing, he was in his own lane. He was doing it. Everyone admired the fact he was making music. It's yeah. when he started the whole cocky stuff and saying I'm the best ever and all this is when Cash was like, "Whoa, you might need to relax a little bit, homie. Right. You're nowhere near the best." His sales aren't even. I mean, he's, he's the biggest. He's biggest in hip hop right now. He is, but he tours. Yeah. He tours a lot. But you, yeah, you got to take that with a grain of salt. Yeah, he tours. He tours a lot for someone to be that big. So yeah. I don't know. Maybe he got a bad deal or something. I don't know. But I, oh, I'm he's definitely trying to knock out right. these albums. Yeah. Believe that. He's, he's trying, trying to. Trying to knock about. I feel like he's probably going to go independent and just take that Apple money. Yeah. If he stays big, you know, he can he can kind of change the course. Yeah. But once you get tired, if he keeps putting out these albums, aren't you going to get tired of him though? I'm already at my point. As long as the I'm, music is good, I'm draked out for the rest of the year. Well, I mean, as long as the music is good, yeah, if you put out a hit right now, I'll yeah. listen to it. As the thing about it is, is when you start as an artist, you start making music and people don't listen to it because they already know what to expect. Right, you failed. Yeah, like you know, Anderson Pack could put out an album right now, and I'd be I'd be ready to listen to it. Yeah, you know, James Blake put out an album right now, we'd be dying to listen to it Absolutely. because they make good music. So we want so, more of them. Question for you, because correct me if I'm wrong, you were saying Drake is becoming a culture vulture. Yes. So, what there's no more people for him to vulture off of? Well, okay. Unlike the okay, the, what I meant by that is, Drake 
ends up hanging around people and he becomes that person. So a chameleon. Uh, yeah, not so yeah. much a chameleon. Yeah, yeah, chameleon, <laughs> yeah. you're right, exactly. But in, and then I'm, I'm speaking kind of like tongue in cheek because I don't know. Toronto has a very big cultural influence on a lot of different Caribbean people, so maybe he's a little Caribbean. But I know he's a kid from Houston, Texas. His mom lived in Canada. So why are you saying about tings and all that? I listen to it and it literally just makes my skin crawl because that's not who that person is, you know? Yeah, so, and you know, if he came out the door doing that stuff, that yes, would be one thing. exactly. He hasn't. I mean, he was on Degrassi yeah, yeah in but a if wheelchair. He, like you said, though, Kevin, if he started TV. off doing that, then we'd accept it more. Whereas it is now, it's like, yo, bro, that's not you. Yeah. Just be yourself, man. He's on the future album to my future. I, I, I don't get it, man. I, I just didn't get I it. I mean, I get it. I mean, he's, he's doing, he's giving the people what they want, man. Got to give the people what they want. You know what I'm Who's saying? Who's better, Diggy Simmons or uh, Drake? Drake. Who, what what song has Diggy put out? <laughs> like, like who? Who? I right, man. Ain't nobody checking for Diggy. Only, only person Diggy is better than is JoJo. <laughs> <laughs> Cut it out. JoJo. Uh, you know what I'm saying? But, uh. <laughs> oh poor JoJo, but poor uh, JoJo man, your, your little brother outshines you. You know what, nah, man? JoJo was just a walking L. He was he was just a guy that, uh, and I mean, he was in a weird position because it was like he was trying to be something that we knew he was. It's like, bro, you grew up, you know, rich and privileged. Don't try to act like you know you grew up in the streets and all that stuff. You don't have to do that, man. Right. Like, you know, hey, be you, man. You already fa- you got a foot in the door already. You don't have to pander. Uh, just you know, do something that you can be good at. All right, Dickie found a way to do it. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. You know, but uh, JoJo, he was I don't know. He was trying to Didn't stick with popular. Did he get beat popular. up by Dipset or something? He got beat up by somebody weird, nah, and then wasn't. they made him like apologize on camera, on camera and right. call his call his dad or something. I don't know, man. Yeah, they roughed him up on camera. That yeah, was that was that was not little. that wasn't right. That wasn't right. <laughs> that wasn't right. <laughs> Because, I mean, come on now. Diggy, funny, you don't bro. get no points for roughing up Diggy Sim- or uh, JoJo Simmons. Come right. on now. Get out of here. Right. But, uh, yeah, uh, that man, that's a whole other uh, topic. But what I did want to kind of, you know what I'm saying, speak on is that uh, our lyrical savior, the flow father. Lupe, speak on it, brother. What? No, Hove. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, gosh. Here we go. He's gearing down. up. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's, he's getting up. ready, man. Uh, that I got the keys, the keys, the keys. Yeah, what y'all think of that? Oh, man. Come on. He had a struggle bar in there. I, I will even, say he, he did try it. to fit something in there. He tried to fit 2016 in there. He it did. was a little tough. I was he, like, did. Little, little. he did. You know, but, he, but, but he's knocking the rust but off. But it's still there. Yeah. You see, everybody came out the woodwork for that video. Too. Yeah. Well, oh, everybody. Yeah. What is it? I got the keys. Got DJ keys. Khaled. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hove and uh, and a hook from Future, huh. and Future mumbling on the end. But, I got nervous. Uh, I, I, with like you said, I got nervous when I seen Future. Yeah, because yeah. I seen it. I'm like, because I'm like, I'm, I'm, and we've talked about this in the pod before. Um, I'm at a point where I might want to see Future gone. I want to see him and Designer just put into like a little a little box. I want Designer's 15 minutes of fame to be over. I literally, I am on record of saying, I want that guy gone. What's wrong wow. with Designer? He's trash. And even that is like. All the antics, all the the the, 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 the jumping around like a damn Jimmy the Cricket, yeah, all of that is scary. yeah, like it's a little scary. I, I thought he was gonna seize out at one point. Well, yeah. Sam Bowish. he's throwing right, exactly what it is. He's throwing the mic up in the air and grabbing it, and then doing a the dab, like super hard dabs. Yeah, you know, like I mean, the the the, the little dance has always been around since we were little. It, it doesn't matter. I'm cool with that. Yeah, what's that little thing right there? Little barrel. Is that a barrel or yeah, a I pig? It. It's a oh. barrel. Okay. Um, but yeah, I want designer gone, and I want I might want future gone. I'm not. Too short yet. Man, listen, Future come out with another hit, man. Be right back. Future Hendrix. Yeah, Future Hendrix. But uh, I don't know, man. Future sound, it's kind of dwindling down. He might have oversaturated. I'm gonna tell you. Uh, I'm gonna tell you what. He come with another hit though, man. And it's on. He just provides something to the tracks. He's one of those artists where He's got uh, he might factor. be a better. Yeah, he might be a better feature artist though than he is uh, as a solo artist. Like but, him with somebody else always sounds pretty good. But does designer coming out hurt him though? No, I don't think so. You don't think so? Nah. It sounds just like him, though, man. <sighs> yeah, I mean, they, they have similar voices, but, I mean, so did DMX and Ja Rule, but they did something different. Yeah, but you know DMX I mean? wasn't, I mean, Ja Rule wasn't, wasn't shouting out DMX's man. He wasn't shouting Boomer. <laughs> if, if Ja Rule would have came in there talking about Boomer and talking like a dog and growling, I mean, this guy's doing everything, the cadences, the shout-outs, to everything, to yeah. the point where we're, we are sure that when he puts out a song, Future's in a cut, like, yo, when did I put this out? You know what, man? If Future really wanted to just uh, to just end designer, just start performing his songs. <laughs> <laughs> you know just saying? start doing designer songs? Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? Just come out there, open up the Panda. Go ahead, man. Panda, yeah, panda, I got panda. bras in Atlanta. Hey, I'm we, can, we can believe it from Future. Hey, you can say what you want. That Panda's a hit. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that Panda's yeah. a hit. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's on. It's yeah, on with that. That Panda's a hit. It's not a hit because it's good. It's just catchy. Yeah, it's yeah. catchy, right. 
Well, that's music these days, man. Yeah, absolutely. So I can, you know, we can appreciate a good beat. I don't care what what he's saying, I guess. But what, what album are we listening to next week? Ooh, Ooh, that's a good question. That's a good question. Yeah, let's let's check it. You out. You know what I listened to? I mean, I, I was going to run by you guys see what you thought about was the uh, big Snoop Dogg. The Jim. Jo- Heck, no, that's Snoop Dogg. I listen. Okay. <laughs> no, hold on, wait, wait, wait. No, 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 no. you're not gonna.